Hey everyone, coming to you with another LACO fact check. Now, as you probably heard, an algae outbreak at Pahokee Marina, where I stand now, recently tested 860 parts per billion of the cyanotoxin microcystin. That is 107 times more toxic than the Environmental Protection Agency says is safe for human contact. Contact with this water can cause vomiting, nausea, dry cough, diarrhea, blistering around the mouth, pneumonia, liver failure, kidney failure, Alzheimer's, and even death. At the same time that this was happening, there was an algal bloom outbreak on Lake Okeechobee measuring hundreds of square miles bigger than the size of New York City. Yet after this outbreak occurred, politicians and anti-environmental advocacy groups started to claim that this had all been caused by leaky boats instead of the pervasive algal bloom problem on Lake Okeechobee that's caused by pollution from farms and developed areas. As absurd as this sounds, I wanted to get to the bottom of it. So I asked the South Florida Water Management District Director, Drew Bartlett, and here's what he said. The diagnosis of the marina, DEP uh, obviously continues to sample. They've went out and they've inspected. Uh, when we go out there and we observe, uh, like this past week, what's happening in the marina, you can see the algae from the lake flowing into the marina and then getting trapped there. And so what you have is you have a, uh, a lake that is extremely high in nutrients, creating harmful algae blooms, and then you see it getting blown into the marina and trapped there. If there is discharges uh, from boats or some sewage control issues, that does add nutrients to the marina, so it doesn't help the situation. It could certainly exacerbate it. The full diagnosis is still underway by DEP, but it's, um, that's the general observation that we've seen. So why would these politicians and groups try to deceive the public? They want to deflect from the fact that there is a major pollution problem on Lake Okeechobee because they want to continue the failed status quo that has allowed their allies to pollute this lake without consequence. Pahokee is just the latest in a long line of incidents. The Florida legislature must act now. They must pass enforceable water quality standards to stop the destruction of Lake Okeechobee. And that's a Lake Ofaction.